Hello all, Brian here with Spontaneous Creations. Um, I MacGyvered up a little thing here. What I got in front of you is two 8 by 20 canvases. So 8, 16 by 20. I have three of these, I, I believe these are called bar clamps. I believe that's what they're called. Both trigger clamps pull together when you pull the trigger, come apart with the button in the middle anyway. I got these two two uh, canvases clamped together here and um, the canvases are kind of tall you can see that so I had to MacGyver a stand for it but I put these hooks on here so that when I set them over after I'm done I set them over there I'm taking the clamps off they set level so you might want to think about doing that if you try this just so they sit level when you set them down and underneath what I got is a bunch of cups cups are all stuck to the board there so they can't move and we're gonna take this and set it right on top there right like that all solid and I got it on my turntable so we're gonna have some fun I'll be back in just a minute to do a painting I'm back. Um, what I got now is three nine ounce or yeah nine ounce cups. I got some. What is it? Deep green. Some yellow cad cadmium yellow hue, and some tiny titanium white. I got coconut milk hair serum in the green and the yellow. Um, I'm going to do some cups here. Oh, uh, let's see. Put a little bit of green. I'm trying to remember what I was going to do here. I don't know where I want to put this, what I'm doing now. I guess we gotta go green on here. Yellow on here. looking awfully yellow and that's looking awfully white <laughs> 
So did I say these are Packers colors? Did I say that's what I was doing? I don't know. I think that's plenty of paint for these two canvases though. You think? I even got to put some gloves on too. I don't know if anybody knows, but I was trying to do a pattern thing there and kind of totally lost it. I'm not sure when I lost it, but it didn't work out. They don't look bad. do have one more white, one yellow, more green, more of in each one. Okay, you looked at those cups long enough. What is he gonna do with them? Oh. Let me start with the white one. And I'm gonna start start here. Oh, I should do a swirl in each one of them. I said. I'm going to start up in this corner. I'm going to spin this around. I'm going to go from Do I need another cup? I need another cup. What the heck? Put some paint on there, Brian. Where do I want to put this cup? Exactly. Exactly. I want to run something like that. And maybe like that. How's that look? Placement. I think I finally figured out what was meant by that. This, this 3D effect. I placed that over the top of that and it got a placement. Thur, torch. Big boy torch, little torch. I'll do the little torch. Yeah, we go. Whoop, got 
hold it up higher to those things on the bottom. Really want just want that paint to come together. I don't want to move it all that much right now. Yeah. It is pouring off there already though, huh? I guess I should just go for it. Go for it. And fuck it up. Screwed that up good, didn't I? Should not have just went for it. Because this was way cooler a second ago. I bring that center line back to where it doesn't look terrible. poured off of there. Yeah, that total 3D effect that I had going on ain't going on now. back up on these stands make sure there's cups underneath everything that needs cups underneath where it all is and see if I can do this this is the hardest part getting those clamps out of there not exactly the right effect I went I, I tilted it way too fast that one way I could have not went so fast and it been better different I really like it though I don't that's gonna work out a two-piece Green Bay Packers color painting Now, I really don't want any more cells popping up, but I got to hit it with the torque for air bubbles at least. So I kind of hold it a little bit higher maybe. Not really heat it up, just slowly pass over it. close-ups hopefully not screw everything up but I'm gonna drip one on the other I'm sorry but I'm not gonna give you close-ups right now I, I have been meaning to do a dried painting video where I show all the ones that I do dried but I just get into really making them so I just sometimes I just keep going and going and going. If you haven't, if you can't tell. There. There is a lot of bubbles. I 
think I'm gonna leave there leave that. I can't tell where they were. I'm leaving that right like that. I guess I could do it this way. Where I can see what what you're seeing in the camera. Sorry about that glare. That. Let's see if I do it that way, maybe get that fire out of there a little bit. a bug just landed in this painting right there as I'm standing here as I'm fucking standing excuse my language sorry you son of a dog sorry I can't believe that happened while I was standing here. It's okay. It didn't hurt nothing. Won't even be able to tell in five minutes that happened. But. That's how you take care of those. Grab your tweezers and you pull that damn thing out as fast as you can. And as soon as you see it, just reach for your tweezers and do it. Otherwise, you're going to screw it up more by trying to be super careful. And anyway, that's my opinion. I don't know if you can see down there on the inside. That's a really good looking edge there. And they match up. The two of them match up right there real good. Actually all along the whole thing. The colors. Color scheme goes from one to the other. Just like you want. Right there's a little bit goofy. But I'm digging it. If you can't tell. <coughs> okay, I'm out. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm out. You guys have a great night. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell. Good job.